Hello, it's me, Daryl, Florida Catholic guy. We're getting uh, some thunder and lightning out here. I just checked the radar and it, uh, it's close, but it looks like the rain may, in fact, pass by us. Uh, we've had a little uh, early start to our rainy season. Usually our rainy season doesn't start until early June, maybe late May, but uh, for this past week, at least since about Thursday or Friday, we've been getting storms pretty much every day, which has been good for the grass and uh, the leaves. Uh, one thing I did get, hopefully I don't get stuck by lightning out here, but I got a new weather station. It has no moving parts. That's, that's the rain gauge. And that's the temperature and wind and humidity. And that's the lightning detector. And it's... Uh, working <laughs> last before I came out here a couple of minutes ago it was uh, oh it's starting to rain before I came out here a couple of minutes ago it was uh, 12 miles away was the closest strike but uh, I suspect that'll be getting closer <laughs> the rain we were either going to get it it was just going to go by us, and it looks like we were getting some. And uh, the rest of the week, it's supposed to be kind of like this. Uh, right around temperatures, uh, right around 90, 88 to 90. This is saying 1.7 miles from the Sky Tower app that I got. But, uh, yeah, funny. It's, uh, it's been warm in our 80s. I think we had one day that it got in the 90s. Uh, but uh, yeah this is pretty much a summer pattern we don't have the uh, high high humidity that you get in the summer but it's humid enough to get the thunderstorms going and uh so a little bit about my weather station. Um, it, I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> but it's got uh, no moving parts. Uh, as you can see my... My old station here. That's the wind thing. And, the direction of the wind and uh, but this one uh, is more like a wind sensor and I think it actually works better than the old one so I like it and uh, so yeah I like it it's uh, I like the display on it. Uh, I won't go in right now and show you it, but uh, it's got a decent display. And then I have the data from the uh, the display data it goes to uh, weather underground page or ambient weather. So. 
It's also love bug season. Those are love bugs. They hook up to each other and uh, they just fly around, land on everything. And that's how they uh, reproduce. You get them in April and I think usually September, October time frame. They come back out. And uh, they're a big pain in the neck because they, uh, if you don't remove them from your car, like when they splatter on the car, they can uh, damage your paint. And there's a certain way uh, you have to take them off. You, I guess the best way to do it is uh, with uh, dryer sheets, the uh, like the snuggles or whatever, the fabric softener sheets that you get for your dryer. Uh, that's a good way to take them off. There's another way too, I forget how to do it, but uh, I haven't had to worry about them on my car yet. I uh, rode my motorcycle this morning to Mass and uh, I've been doing that. Wow. This uh, tin roof on my screen room here makes it sound like it's raining harder than it is. I mean, it's it's coming down, but it's not like like it sounds. I don't know how much of the sound gets in. gets in the video, but uh, whatever, it's enough to wet the grass. I can show you the uh, display on my iPad here. so far, three miles away. Temperatures drop.
I'm waiting for it to register on the uh, rain gauge here. It's a lot more than uh, 0 0.02 inches an hour, but uh, there's a delay from it going from the station to uh, the website, so. I just want to a little bit. Get those palm trees nice and green. Hopefully get some more green to Branches on those palm trees. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Uh, get in so I don't get struck by lightning. So oh, now it's dirt. 0 0.09, but it's a lot worse than that. Anyway, uh. Have a great rest of the weekend. Uh, good evening. God bless you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.